Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video as an example of this sort of flying that you can do with uh, lithium ion cells as a follow up for the video I did about building lithium ion packs. Despite watching me do some moderately aggressive flying here, I wouldn't recommend lithium ion packs for a freestyle sort of build unless it was really lightweight. And this is uh, just straight up super view with no hyper smooth or real steady. It's the same quad I always use for my long range flights. Um, the same one that you saw in the video I did about my setup. I'm using the same rates and uh, the same battery setup and everything. So it's the the two 6S uh, 18650 lithium ion packs that weigh in at 640 grams together for the both of them. Whoa, that was close. I really should be trying to be a little more careful. You don't want to crash a long range quad and uh, possibly have electronics issues creep up on you later. Coming up here now is a good example of uh, one of the things I like about flying this quad this heavy, the being able to use the, the weight of it to help throw it up in the air and have its inertia carry it for a bit. I think it's on this next uh, tree dive coming up here. Listen for when I get off the throttle and how it floats up and over the tree. The tune's not perfect on this thing. I think it still needs a little more P-gain. The filters are, oh, I think, a couple of notches over uh, the stock settings. Some of you were asking about the uh, trilling noise my quad was making in the, the flight examples for the video about my setup. You might notice now that they're gone for this video, and that's because with the heavier dual 6S 18650 packs on, the weight of the quad suits the tune better now. Oh, that was really close to the branch there. I should probably be being a little bit more careful. If you're thinking about getting some lithium ion cells, you should really make sure your current meter for your quad is calibrated well so that you're getting accurate amp readings. And then uh, after seeing how many amps your quad's gonna pull, looking up the correct lithium ion cells to use by actually going and looking at the manufacturer's data sheet rather than just specs on packaging or uh, what a store is writing or something like that. If I'm doing long range testing while I'm in town, uh, that hill off in the distance behind the power lines is usually where I end up uh, flying to to test things out. Whoa, I didn't want to spoil it for you until that was going to happen. But uh, here's another look at it. Yeah, I really shouldn't have let that happen. Like I was saying, I, I really don't want to crash my long range quad and uh, cause any issues with the electronics. But uh, I did cause an issue here because the branch smacking my quad knocked my FPV cameras up tilt to some ridiculous angle. And uh, now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to land this thing because all I can see is sky. I can't tell where the ground is. trying to figure out a way to be able to land. I know I, I could probably go over by one of the trees and then look up at the tree and use that to tell my descent rate. But there's so many puddles all over this place that I, I don't want to chance it. I want to try to make sure I land on the concrete. Uh, there you see, I, I tried to tip forward just a tiny bit to be able to get a peek at the ground but uh, the quad just starts going way too fast right away. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm gonna do to be able to land here, because like I was saying, I, I don't wanna crash this quad, so I'm trying to be careful, but... Oh, there's the ground. Okay, it's, it's kinda close. Let's just ease on the throttle. 
Oh, that was uh, that was pretty rough on the lithium ion pack that was bottom mounted on this quad. 1.3 kilograms bouncing the pack off the concrete. Whoa. That's, that's why I was having trouble. Uh, now I can see why I was having so much trouble landing. Um, so let's uh, <coughs> take the GoPro out here. Look at the camera angle that my, I hit that branch and my uh, camera got whacked up. It's flying at like 55 degrees or 60 degrees up tilt or something. I don't know. I think that looks almost like maybe 65, possibly 70 degrees. With a seven inch long range quad, that was, uh, that would explain why it was so difficult trying to land. I'm actually surprised I did that well at uh, just flying it around trying to figure out how to land because at that kind of up tilt the uh, roll and yaw stick kind of get reversed a little bit in a way. That's where I normally fly it with. <laughs> Alright, well at least that survived.